and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Monday, the 25th of July, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's see what's coming across the news today. Of course, in the US, we saw a slight pullback on Friday, but that didn't take away from what was a stellar week based really on some good earnings coming across the wires. This week, we see earnings ramp up and are likely to play a large role in this week's sentiment, along, of course, with the important US interest rate decision we see on Wednesday. US futures are mildly negative in Asia and Asian indices are mixed, suggesting a little bit of caution before all of the action later on in the week. The ASX is choppy but near neutral at this stage in the trading day and European futures are suggesting a slightly negative open. The US dollar index was flat on Friday but is positive this morning in Asia. We've seen a little bit of buying coming into the USD. Gold is holding the 1700 level, trading around 1720 at the moment, perhaps eyeing a move back up to the next important level around about 1725. Oil has been trading in a relatively tight range last week between 100 and 110 dollars and is currently around about 104 on the Brent crude contract CFD. The VIX also had a good week last week, suggesting a little bit of market calmness for right now remains at three month lows around about the 24 and a half level copper has paused at the important 330 resistance we did see some recovery from its lows that we hit early last week on the crypto space we did see one month highs last week on bitcoin up around 23 and a half thousand dollars but we're seeing it just drift downward since that high was hit and look as though we're going to test a previous broken resistance at around about 21 and a half potentially it's a quieter earnings day, but big rest of the week. We've got some real big players coming out tomorrow, including Microsoft and Google. Eyes are on the Fed for the week, really, with a 0.75% rate hike, at least expected on Wednesday. Around about a 25 expectation that it may even be as high as 1%. So lots for the markets to digest in what is an, another important week in terms of where we go next. Just a couple of charts to keep an eye on today. And we're going to start with the GB pound Aussie on the daily chart. You can see we've bounced fairly significantly off this support at 172.54. We had that test on Friday and a move back over that level. Uh, you can see we are higher in this morning's trading. If we just put it on a short term chart, then you can see we've had this move higher. Really, we're looking, if we just take this out a little bit, we're looking for a break. Uh, potentially of around about 174.11 to suggest that there's potential upside in this but may get stuck in this range between where we are now and that next key level. On the ASX there are a few stocks that look as though they're thinking about breaking key levels. We covered a few last week but one that we didn't and it's possibly worth keeping an eye on is BLD, Boro Limited in the building space. And we're looking for a possible move over 281 up to test $3 again, which would be a very healthy 6% return if it gets up there. But some work to do on this at this stage with 3 or 4 cents below that level that would suggest a breakout is on the cards. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.